connection, calling my mom mother, it kind of makes sense. Then this, we had a fight, <laughs> not physical one, but like arguments, fighting, and then <laughs> uh, no, we didn't talk for like an hour. Mm. Yeah. The dinner was already prepared, cooked. So what happened was um, I got hungry, so and we got long, and I wanted to eat. But I didn't see the meal in the kitchen. And I was like, why? Where is it? And then I went and talked to him in the bedroom. And I saw him eating the hot pot mm-hmm. on the floor in the bedroom. And I was like, what are you doing? What did I see? That made me laugh so hard. So that's the story. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is the part 2 of reacting to some really interesting questions about Dai and Shun from their recent YouTube live vlog. I'm so curious to see what they have to say. Let's begin with the questions. What would you be doing if you weren't dating each other? Dai says he'd be studying a lot, and Shun says he'd be working hard and keeping up with school. It's really sweet that they both prioritize their studies and careers, even though they're in a relationship. It shows how dedicated they are to the goals. What scene in the show made you cry? Dai's answer is the scene where Shun was upset about the t-shirt incident in episode 9. That scene was definitely emotional, and it showed how much Shun cares about Dai. Shun's answer is the scene where he was alone at the barbecue and Dai came to him and played the piano. That was such a beautiful moment, and it really showed how much they love and support each other. How do you manage your diet? Both Dai and Shun say they have a strict diet plan, especially before important events. It's clear that they take their health seriously and are committed to staying in shape. I admire the discipline. Who did you choose for your second date in the show? Dai says he chose Ryota because he didn't feel comfortable going on a date with the other person. It's interesting that he chose someone he felt more comfortable with, even though it wasn't the obvious choice. What does Shun call your mother? Dai says Shun calls his mother Okasan, which means mother in English but it is very polite. It's so sweet that they're already close to each other's families. What's the funniest thing that happened between you two recently? Dai says they had a fight and Shun was so upset that he ate the whole pot of food on the floor. That's hilarious, but it also shows how much they care about each other. I'm not good at dealing with positive and upbeat people. How do you handle it? Both Dai and Shun say they try to avoid them if possible, but if they have to be around them, they try to focus on the good qualities and learn from them. It's a great way to handle difficult situations and turn them into learning experiences. What do you do when you feel anxious about the future? Dai says he tries to understand the source of his anxiety and figure out what he can do about it. He also writes down his thoughts and feelings in a notebook. Shun says he tries to focus on the present moment and find things that bring him joy. Both of their approaches are really helpful for managing anxiety. I feel empty and unfulfilled. What should I do? Dai says it's okay to feel that way and to allow yourself to feel those emotions. He suggests figuring out what's missing in your life, setting goals, spending time with loved ones, and doing things that make you happy. Shun says it's important to be honest with yourself, talk to someone you trust, find things that bring you joy, and focus on taking small steps towards your goals. Both of their answers are really insightful and encouraging. How do you handle setbacks and challenges? Dai says he believes that every challenge is a learning opportunity and tries to stay positive. Shun says it's important to remember that setbacks are part of life and to ask for help when needed. Both of their perspectives are really inspiring and show their resilience. Overall, I'm really impressed by Dai and Shun's answers. They are such a supportive and loving couple, and they're both incredibly insightful and mature. It's clear that they have a strong relationship and are committed to each other's happiness. I can't wait to see what the future holds for them. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more reactions and commentary.